Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Addict Creations. Today I have for you some more layouts from the lovely collection by Close to My Heart. This is part three of the four part series of layout shares I'm doing with this collection. There's still a lot of springy layouts coming your way. So here's the overview on the paper. Um, and this confirms yesterday's uh, when I gutted that one piece of paper and used this on that one layout and this was the back. I should have looked at this yesterday, but I wasn't paying attention, of course. You know, that's the way life goes. Just happens. Okay, the first layout I have for you today is called Memories, and that is because of the wood title on this page. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Let's show. This is the original, and I, I tried to go as much off of this as possible. Here's the 12 by 12 version of um, information. Sorry. There you go. Okay, let's put that aside. So on this one, I just sized down the pieces. That's pretty much how that went. Um, they called for, you know what? I honestly don't know what sizes they called for here. I know this was one and a fourth inch in. This was five by seven and four by sixes. I did, uh, sorry, I got to find it on my list. Bluebell photo mats, uh, three and three fourths by five and a fourth, and then three by fours. So just size those down a smidge. Everything else is just sized down a bit. So the white daisy background is eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The ballerina polka dot pattern is three by eight and a half. The striped pattern here is three by 11 and a fourth. So the dark floral pattern is two by eight and a half, and there's two of those. Then we have the bluebell strip, which is an eighth by eight and a half. And then we have the sage gingham strip, which is a fourth by eight and a half. And that's all the, the base papers here. So then we use the memories wood title. Um, I still have love this wood titles on my little list. I'm leaving it there. I don't know if that's what they were called. I, I just, I don't know. I'm so sorry. But that's what I have and I had written in my blog post. So I'm just going to keep it just in case that's what they were called. So I use the stickers on this. And whenever I do a sticker like this, and I think I've talked about this before, so I'm sorry to rehash. Um, I... I stick this part down and then I use pop tape on the other sides to kind of give it some, some movement. If you see there, this one is quite big. I, maybe I should have put another one like back here, but I really like how he laid, um, two little heart stickers up here. This is a sticker border from the sticker sheet. I did the same with this butterfly over here. And again, he's kind of just got a little bit, just a little. And what's nice about just doing a smidge of it is that when it's in its page protector, it doesn't stick out and it doesn't add a lot of volume to your layout, but yet it adds just a little bit of movement that works well for the layout. So I added um, the birdhouse here. It was one of those, do I, don't I, because we don't really have birds. So I don't know, but I think it's just cute with the little flowers there. I did pop that. I didn't cut around it. Um, you know, sometimes I do that. I could have cut around these little flowers. They had this flat and had the flowers popped, but I just left it as is. And I added a few more hearts there. Very fun layout. Um, very simple too, which is one of the reasons why I did like this, um, this set of layout ideas because these were simple, easy to do, didn't add a lot of drama to the day. So the next one is so happy and here we go. It could go this way or it can go this way. Actually, I think I kind of like it this way right now. I changed my mind on a daily basis with this layout. Okay, <clears throat> so here is the top piece, and here is the instructions. It looks like I didn't add that bow. I don't know if I had intended to later or not. Let me grab, oh, I did add the bow. I added it down here, sorry. 
Okay, so back to this one. This one I'm just calling Hearts and Gingham. I don't have a title for it yet. I could put one up here, here, or I could just leave it as a filler layout. Um, I do a lot of those um, and then wait until I have my pictures to decide what I'm going to title it, if I'm going to title it. Again, I, I have the journaling space here. My middle daughter has really good handwriting. And so sometimes I just say, here, could you write this for me? And then she laughs and says, you should write it. Your handwriting's fine. And yeah, you know, I don't, I just don't do it. So this one is on a white daisy as well, eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The heart pattern paper is five and a fourth by eight and a half. The lemonade gingham pattern paper, it's just a, such a sweet paper, is five and a fourth by eight and a half. The canary, now this is something interesting. I thought I was using lemonade on this. I didn't even check, which is my negligence. I'm so sorry. Apparently I've been using canary. So anywhere that I've said lemonade is actually canary, which is a retired paper. So the canary paper here is an eighth by eight, eight and a half. And then I did um, the flowers in the canary as well. And it is the 3D flower die from close to my heart. Here is, I used this one and cut three of these, two in the canary and one in sage and then one of these in canary for each flower. Okay, let me set that aside. Um, so that's how these flowers go. And then the little dots are from that Daisy Meadows um, kit that I had gotten and my leftovers. The photo mats are canary in three and three fourths by five and a fourth. There's two of those and three three by fours. This is one of the lovely journaling cards, and it matches, of course, coordinates with this. The sage is a sage bow from that die set, and you know what? I should have brought that. I did not. I am sorry. I will show that tomorrow. I'll just show those dies that I have. I think I might have showed them before, too. Um, this is a zip strip with the flower one. It's a fourth of an inch by eight and a half. I want to say this layout set, I used more of the zip trips, zip strips, whoo, tongue twister, than I've ever used before. And it's because they were beautiful. They are just beautiful. I mean, this little flower, that one the other day with the um, kind of a periwinkle color with the polka dots, the gingham ones, uh, they're just such pretty pretty zip strips. They did a really good job this round with those zip strips. Okay, and the last layout I have for you today is called Friends. And this one's kind of um, kind of sweet. And uh, I liked it. I didn't care for these um, cutout pieces. I just thought they were kind of unnecessary. So I didn't use them. And I switch things up, of course, because that's what I do. So there is, there you've got the whole thing right there. Let me set that aside. So the back side of this paper is this one. And I want to say I gutted this paper and used this down here. I'm pretty sure that's what went down. Or that I cut this. I think I just kind of, I don't know. Somehow I did this because this is my least favorite, I believe, of the papers. Let me look at these. That one and this brown. Oh, and this one. Those were the ones that I kind of didn't use as much. I don't. I didn't use any of this. I didn't use any of this either. I used that heart because it's cute. Um, this one is, I think, the only layout I actually used this piece right here on. <clears throat> it's kind of a sage background with maybe like a... I know it looks kind of like a New England ivy. Um, okay, sorry. Let's get back to this fun stuff. So this piece, or I should say this is um, eight and a half by 11 and a fourth white daisy. The darker flower pattern, which is very pretty. Uh, that one is six by eight. The sage and New England ivy paper is three by eight and a half. I believe this is New England ivy. I am not 100% sure. Um, and putting things next to it just doesn't match up as much as I wish it would to say, oh, for sure, this is what it is. The zip strip is the ballerina color, and it's a stripe, and it's a horizontal stripe, or 
vertical if you put it this way, but it's horizontal on this layout, is a fourth of an inch by eight and a half on both sides. This is an area where because it's actually behind this dark pattern paper, you could just cut little bits of it and make it go further. I didn't need to because I had plenty of it, but it's a great area that you could save some paper in. Um, this, I use sage photo mats. I have three three by four and two three and three fourths by five and a fourth. This vertical one, I put a ballerina little bow. And again, I know we talked about it the other day, but this, just the way it lays down so nice and flat-ish, kind of just softens it. Um, in the photo, in the Page protector. My goodness, I cannot say page protector. This is like the third time I've tried to say it, and it sounds like a jumbled mess. So, so sorry about that. But I like how it just kind of softens and flattens these a little bit and doesn't really make them squished. It just still leaves just the little bit of, you know, you can tell it's a bow. It's not a flattened bow, which is always nice. And I didn't have to add pop tape to the center or anything. It just keeps it that way. So it's a really, really nice bow set. The flower is the in Ballerina. <clears throat> and again, I used that same two of this for the, the Ballerina, one of this in Ballerina, one of this in Sage, and then cut two petals off of the Sage. And um, I had, again, done this little thing, but these flowers tend to get flattened really quick. Um, this is actually um, a picture of my life card. This flower is a sticker, and I popped it. You can see, whoop, there it is. You can see it popped. It fit directly over the, over the image on the card. I thought that was hilarious. Because normally it's just, you know, a little bit different or something. Or like I could have cut just the vase and had the flowers behind it or cut just the flowers and use the vase behind it. Um, this one just fit perfectly over it. And it just made me chuckle that that was the thing um, with this layout. Use the friend's title. I thought this was really cute. I liked how it was one piece and how it was connected and just kind of zigzaggy. A lot of times my uh, titles were looking like this until I got some some little bits to help me with the straightening of them. I know there's a bunch of tricks out there to do them. Um, for some reason, my eyes are crooked <laughs> when I'm putting down a title. Um, so no matter how many things I use to help me with it, they're always crooked. So I appreciated the fact that this was crooked to start off with and so easy to use. Um, I did love having both the bows on here. It was just a really fun and pretty layout. I, I thought it was a good use of this paper that I wasn't as fond of. And um, I loved this little strip. So I was really happy with this layout. And I can't wait to see what I, I do with it. So here is that pattern paper again. We have two more layouts, actually, because I did 11, I believe. And then I have... I think it was two extra of the instruction sheets to share with you. There's the blank space for my husband. He thinks he's so funny. Here, I'll do, woo, woo. No, messing with him. He'll probably cut some of that out if he can. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Tomorrow, like I said, we'll do the last sets of the lovely layouts and a few idea sheets. I hope you enjoyed the layouts I shared today. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Please like and subscribe to my channel and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.